What do you do? Right, okay, well, basic okay. life support, choking skills are essential for everybody, especially if you're a parent of a small child or a toddler. Yeah. Everyone can save a life by following three simple steps. Firstly, if anybody's choking, encourage them to cough. Stay calm. They are going to be the best person to clear their own airway. So with um, small children, it's slightly different Hard for under explain, ones and over yeah. ones. I would say encourage them to lean forward and cough it out themselves if they can. Okay. If they can't cough for themselves, if their cough is becoming ineffective, then you need to do something. Second step is alternate back blows and thrusts, OK? So with the little ones, you can either lean them down and slightly forward to support their head depending on your on arm. Depending on their age, is Depending this? on their age. So these are the under ones. Or put them on your knee and tilt it slightly downwards. Use gravity to help you. And it's five sharp blows with the heel of your hand between oh. their shoulder blades. And is it in between so the shoulder blades? So it can be as hard as that. Really? And in between each one, you're looking to see if they've coughed anything out. Try okay. to support their head if so you can. So it's just beneath, it's between the shoulder between, blades? Right between the shoulder blades in the middle of the In the, the middle. Yeah. And that's harder and that's than you it. think? And it is literally as hard as that. OK. If that doesn't work, if they haven't cleared their airway, turn them over, still leaning slightly downwards, support their head and give them five chest thrusts for the under ones. So that's right between the, the nipples, right in the middle of the chest, five thrusts So if you like imagine that. the top of your ribs coming together... Yep, so it's here. in the middle of your breastbone. So you've right above that... Above oh, right, that okay. bit, OK? Fine. So, and it's five short, sharp chest thrusts, OK? Gosh. Checking after each one to see if they've coughed it up. If that doesn't work, alternate and the five the back again. blows and the five chest thrusts. If they become unconscious, then call 999 and start CPR. For over ones... Don't and try and make them sick. Don't, no. So lo lots of people ask, should I be going fishing around in the mouth? Unless the object is right at the front of the mouth and you can grab it quickly, don't go fishing, you could make things worse. Over ones and adults, same procedure, <laughs> encourage them to cough. Five back blows, again, right same between place. the shoulder blades, same place. But instead of doing chest thrust, you're going to do abdominal thrust or Heimlich manoeuvre. So your fist goes halfway between the bottom of the ribs and the tummy button. Other hand comes over the top and you pull inwards and upwards. OK? Quite, quite firm when you do that because you're trying to push the object out. Check after each one. And again, alternate those if it doesn't work. And if they become unconscious, call 909 and start CPR. Yeah. It's a lot of information there, but it is just three steps. Mm. And if people want to find out more, we've got instruction videos on the This Morning website detailing both procedures, and they can go to the St John's Ambulance website as And well. there are first aid courses all over the country there that are. people can enrol themselves in. Absolutely. So some workplaces provide them, or you can book them privately. I know you can book them through the St John's Ambulance website too, but every parent, every carer should make sure that they have basic life support skills. Well, you never know what you're going to be faced with. Exactly. And, that, and we've, we've, today, because of this tragic story, mm. um, this is the, the topic of conversation, but there's, there are burns, uh, there are... Um, yeah. It implements of stabbing, stabbing, you know, the, the when things get stuck in your skin, when to take them out, when not to take exactly. them out as a child. So there's a lot to learn. So um, basic life support or giving CPR is a really, really important skill. We've actually got separate videos for that as well on the This Morning website. Mm. But knowing your, you know, simple first aid things like dealing with stings, dealing with allergic reactions, dealing with breathing problems, seizures, head injuries, that kind of thing, everyone should have... A, a vague idea of what to do and actually most of the time the steps are quite simple and you could save a life yeah okay thank all right you. thank you for more of the same just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel because even if Sid wasn't in the picture I would still be eating the way I eat because I love food I'm addicted to food and I will admit that um, so I don't see it like that at all. At 71 stone, if you reach your goal, how would you get to the food without help? There's plenty of men who would love to be in Sid's position, so I, I would... I have people message me every day <laughs> of just about, you're so lucky, you're so lucky.